Suffering from a fault with your van at any time is a pain, and electrics are something that can often cause problems, whether it's 12 volts or 240 volts. So being self-sufficient at fault finding is a huge benefit. We've been looking for the simplest and cheapest tool to help with electrical fault finding, and we think we found it. And we'll be giving one away, so keep watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. An electrical test or multimeter is a piece of equipment we would say is essential if you want to avoid expensive professional repairs and keep yourself up and running. But understandably, you may have chosen not to have one because you think they are expensive or you wouldn't know how to use it. Well, we went on the search and found the Tesman TM510 at just £12. And they very kindly provided us with one to try out and we've got one to give away. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. It comes in a nice protected pouch with comprehensive instructions, but we'll see shortly how easy it is to use. The meter itself is protected by a nice rubberized case and a removable screen protector. In the pouch there's also a set of test leads. Here you can see it compared to our old meter which can be a bit confusing and hard to use if you're not used to it, having to select the right setting and the right choice of reading range for what you want to measure and with three different connections for leads, it's not always obvious which you should use. The Tesman meter is much simpler to use. Switching it on by holding the power button starts it up and then you just connect the leads to the two connection points Before we use it to measure anything, a couple of useful functions are a tap of the light button to give a backlight to the display, or holding it to activate the LED torch on the back of the unit. Both useful if you're measuring in an area with limited light. So let's see what it can do. Once switched on, the meter is automatic, detecting what you want to measure. There's no complicated settings or ranges to think about. It's simply a case of connecting the leads to what you want to measure, be it DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, or continuity. So if we connect the leads to these batteries, it will automatically select DC voltage and tell us the voltage of each. So we know which one is flat and which one is new. Without changing any settings, if we want to test continuity, for example, if a wire may be broken or a fuse blown, the meter automatically detects if there's a connection between the probes, as we can see putting the leads together, and sounds a tone and lights the green indicator. Not something I often do, but let's measure the resistance of this carrot. Again, not having to change any settings, the meter has automatically selected resistance and a suitable range showing the resistance of this carrot to be around 380,000 ohms or 380 kilo ohms as indicated by the letter K. Again, without changing any settings, I'm going to test this socket. Please be very careful when testing AC mains voltage. As we can see, this socket is giving out 239 volts if we wanted a safer way to test for mains voltage, the meter does have a non-contact voltage or NCV setting. Using this, we can see that there is live voltage in this toaster until we switch it off at the socket without having to even connect to any live wires. The final function that is useful is the hold setting. We can see here when we disconnect from the battery, the reading disappears. A tap of the hold button freezes the screen so that we can see the voltage level even after disconnecting it. So 
So it seems really easy to use, doesn't it? Well, in one of our very unscientific tests, my seven-year-old is going to show just how easy it is. First, we're going to set a benchmark using our old multimeter. Let's see how long it takes to get it set up right and measure the battery voltage. I've sped up this footage and even with some prompting to connect the leads correctly and select the right function and range, it took nearly four minutes. Now let's try the Tesman with no prompting at all. Connecting the leads and measuring the battery voltage takes just 20 seconds. In the next test we're going to use continuity to check which bolts are connected by a wire at the back. And this took just 16 seconds. And finally, measuring the resistance of the carrot took just seven seconds. So at only £12 and being so simple to use, even a seven-year-old can do it without any instructions, I think anyone would struggle to come up with a reason not to have one in their toolbox to help them keep everything working on the move. It is worth noting that it isn't able to measure current in amps, but it would still be a great help at finding faults and issues easily and simply. We will be testing a more complex and therefore harder to use and more expensive multimeter in the future, but for simplicity of use and value for money, this one is very hard to beat. We've got a TM510 to give away and all you have to do to stand a chance of winning is like this video, pop on a comment and subscribe to the channel so you get our notification if you win. We'll select one comment at random on Sunday the 5th of March 2023 at 10 p.m. UK time. You can see all the conditions of the giveaway in the video notes. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.